Hi, it's Janice from Vaughn Family Farm and I am out here in our big old barn um, and the roosters are crowing and I am just organizing and filthy all the stuff that we have for our family milk cow. From baby calf to calving to if they go down with milk fever. I briefly touched on this in my other video, but I thought that I would show you just what we got. So first, I'm going to start with just preventative, what we do. We bolus our cows once a month for, um, for worms, and it's an herbal dewormer that we get off of Dr. Sarah's Essentials website. It's this. It's called Super Eliminate. Um, you can give it to them when they're lactating. We also do this, I think it's every eight months. It's their copper bolus. Um, for both our cows. This is our bolus gun and you can fit quite a few of those giant pills in there. So that is um, kind of like a preventative measure. We also always do apple cider vinegar in their water and then we also do um, different free choice minerals. So I'll show you those. Okay, so we use Redmond's minerals. We use the selenium, we use the conditioner, and then we also have, in these two bags, we have um, a dry cow mineral and a dairy-specific mineral blend that we get from Dr. Sarah's also. And then we also do kelp. Okay, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what is in this box. This is for milk fever and testing. So we have uh, sterile needles in here. We have a syringe. Um, we have our CMPK liquid in case the cow goes down. We have two of those. Um, we have our drenching syringe in here. We also have these little bags. Those roosters just don't want to stop. We also have these little bags um, for sending out milk samples. And then we also have these little vials and they have a little, um, I don't think you can see it right there, that little thing at the bottom. Um, it's just like a stabilizer for the milk and that's how we test our cows and their milk for pregnancy. Um, okay, these are to check the pH of their urine. And then we're gonna move over to more mastitis care. So we have mastoblast, um, we have utterblast also from Fur Meadows. This goes directly into the teat canal. Nope, let's leave that in there. Um, this is for calving. This is to dip the calves um, umbilical cord in. We also have gold seal for that. Yeah, you can hold the drenching syringe. You wanna hold that? Um, and then this is a tincture if they come down with a ringworm or something, any sort of parasite or something like that. Uh, this is a teat dip cup. This is a probiotic um, in case they need that. These are new. Um, these get inserted into their teats. And this is our CMTK kit with new liquid that's not expired. I will say check your um, your CMT kit and make sure your liquid is not expired because it, it only lasts, I think it's a year, um, and that will affect when you're testing for mastitis, it'll affect how accurate that is. Okay, we're gonna move into this, this bucket that we also have. We have a calf bottle with tops um, just in case something happens with mom. We have this bander. Um, so if we have a bull calf and then we have bands, those little green things are the bands in here. Um, sometimes we give free choice baking soda if there is an issue with bloat. These are all our cloths that are designated to the cow. They're Norwex cloths. They work super well. Um, we use their Enviro cloth. Um, and then we also have their dishwashing liquid. Um, this is a teat dip that we use on them. 
And these are just extra spray bottles for my homemade um, fly spray. Okay, so apple cider vinegar, more of a preventative thing we add to their water. Blackstrap molasses we give to a mama cow after she has had a baby. We have a whole bunch of different herbs. So a majority of these are from Fur Meadows, which I highly recommend. Um, this is to help support drying off a mama cow. This is just in case mama needs a boost or she comes down with mastitis. Um, this I'm actually going to be pulling out to use and um, it says best by April 2020, but it, it's okay. Um, this is just to help prepare the mama cow for um, calving. Better days is if they need help with, um, they're just, they're just overall need a health boost. Cayenne pepper is for cuts and stuff. We use this on chickens. We just, it's just good to have. Um, this is our dewormer. That's a maintenance one that our chickens get when we have pigs, they also get this. Um, and then this is golden seal. Um, if you've had a home birth, you probably had <laughs> this come in your home birth um, package, but we also use that on the umbilical cord of um, the calves. So then moving over here, Another company we really like is Synergy An um, Animal Products. So Mastic Utter Oils is great. Um, some of these are just into the teat. Some of these are also orally. Um, this is actually one that is for oral as well. This is all just dealing with mastitis or if you have issues with staph A or anything like that. We have Utter Cream. Um, this is great just every day. This um, is utter cream if you have high SCCs, also from Synergy. This is from Dr. Sarah's. These are obviously well loved. The inside is clean. This is if they have an inflamed quarter, you can rub it on. Um, this is an Arnica ointment and I actually just got a new one from them. <laughs> so that's right underneath it once we finish this one up. A thermometer, it's actually clean inside that bag. <laughs> this is a spray for lice and mange because we moved to Tennessee and um, we noticed there's a lot more critters. So we got that. These are just kelp granules. They get these all the time as free choice. And then these are our boluses. Um, these are our calcium boluses and I'll go ahead and show you them. Okay, so these calcium boluses, there is five of these in this pack. I'm not gonna open it, um, but you put them inside the bolus gun and they actually come with a lubricant because they can kind of get chalky in there. Um, and you give the whole dose to the cow. So we give this whole dose to our cow when it looks like she's about 24 hours out from calving. Um, and then we give it the next three days as well. It helps them coming into milk. It helps um, as a preventative for milk fever. And um, it has vitamin D3, which I think also helps with the absor absorption those roosters of the calcium. So we have two boxes of these uh, just in case we go through one of them or a cow goes down, you can give them up to every 12 hours. Um, this is also something that we order from Dr. Sarah. So all this stuff will be put back. Um, the lids will go on our tubs. This one I know has this box in particular is just easy to lift out and I can grab that and our calcium if we need it for our cow um if she if she's going down and um or she's gone down with milk fever um some people might think it's like over the top but we do everything holistically and naturally and with a lot of those methods you need to make sure that you are um it's it's more of like a preventative like you just with with herbs and stuff like that something you do all the time those roosters <laughs> they are gonna go well we have nine of them and two of them are gonna stay so all this stuff we're gonna get the lids back on them and I'm going to have it all right here so I know where everything is my cow should be having that baby any day 
Um, so I just want to be super, super prepared. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you don't already check us out on Instagram, I post a lot there and I will link below. Um, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but just the places that I get these things. So Valley Vet being one of them, Dr. Sarah's Naturals, huge Synergy Animal Products and Fur Meadows, all places that I highly recommend if you are doing things naturally. Oh, did you find a ring? You say hi? You say hi? Okay, say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.